Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install the system update blocker on your PS Vita. So this is actually a brand new piece of homebrew software. It's really cool. It blocks your PS Vita from updating to 3.69 or basically any latest firmware. And it also stops it from downloading any firmware. So you won't have any like firmware downloaded on your device that you're never even going to update to. So if you guys want to install this, you must have Vita Shell. So just go ahead and open that up. Up. Now what you need to do is press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So you guys can check out the link in the description for the update blocker made by Silica and Pina and this is very new. This was literally made or uploaded seven hours ago um, which is really cool. Um, so if you guys want to get it, these are actually the main features. It blocks system updates and blocks update downloads. Now this one is really cool. Sometimes your PS Vita might download like the latest 3.69 update and obviously you don't want it to because you don't want to install it because that will break your custom firmware if you do decide to install it. Um, so this will just block all update downloads so it won't even download them and then we've got this one here um, basically um, it won't allow you to complete an update so it basically just blocks it but yeah this one here is very cool and this one is also cool um, if you maybe ex accidentally update or something like that so what we want to do is just click on the downloads tab right here and here it is guys updateblocker.vpk so if we click on this it's going to download it should just take one second and then once it's finished downloading you just want to head over to your downloads folder find the vpk file in here and what we are going to do is just drag and drop this onto the root of our ps vita so once it's on there we can now disconnect our ps vita from our pc and i will show you guys what to do next okay so once we're back now we can install the update blocker uh, vpk file so let's go onto the uxo scroll all the way down and here it is so let's press x x again wait a few seconds and then press X and it will begin installing. So literally just give it one second to install. And then once it's installed, let's close out Vita Shell and let's find the application on our home screen. So here it is, update blocker, let's tap on it and then let's just tap on start. So it's really simple and as you can see by the title, Vita Update Blocker and we have got four options on here. So if we press the cross or basically X, it's going to block system update in settings. So if we try to update, it's just going to give us an error and um, we can do that. Um, we can press circle and it will unblock the system update. So you can undo um, basically whatever you do with this software, which is really nice. We've got square, which is block update downloads. That is probably pretty cool. I will be trying that out. And we've also got triangle for unblock update downloads. So let's press square right now. There you go. Update downloads have been blocked. Then just wait for it and it will refresh. And what we can do is we can actually press the cross for block system update. Now if you do this, it will reboot the console, so just give it a few seconds and your PS Vita should start to reboot and once it reboots, we can just launch the custom firmware again. Okay, so it's now rebooted, let's launch our custom firmware quickly. So if we just head over to our system settings right now, I will show you the options that um, are basically blocked. So if you would scroll down and go into system, um, auto start settings, this setting here, download update file for system, even though it's unticked, um, this will no longer work. So this is completely blocked right now. And um, yeah, basically our PlayStation Vita won't actually update right now, which is actually pretty cool. So this is on 3.68. So if I did want to update, I would have to open up the program, um, disable both of those options, which I had, and then I will be able to update again. Obviously I don't want to, there is not currently a hacks released for 3.69, and there should be one coming out in a few months. Obviously right now, um, I just don't want to update. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Really cool piece of software. I quite like it. Um, you should enable this just in case um, you're worried about you're having your PS Vita updated or anything like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.